After a long drive, we made it to the trailhead, and now our adventure begins. I'm gonna start running a little bit. Sarah's gonna head up with me for a little bit. There she is right back there. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> what do you think of the trail? It's so fun, Sarah. It's lovely. It's steep. <laughs> Watch the poison hook. More. More here. No, we oh, right there. This is hard to watch the camera and the poison hook as well. It's everywhere. Hopefully I don't get the itchies. If I do, I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> a lot of plants that look like poison oak. Um, so if you're not certain when you're on a trail like this, best thing to do is just try to stay in the middle of the trail, weave in and out. Yeah. Okay, so we have oak here. You see it's bigger leafed, and the leaf patterns are more random, sporadic. But down here we have poison oak, which often gets a little red hue this time of year. But you can see it's in patterns of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And when it's not so dry, it'll actually look waxy. Those oils will really stand out. So, very important to avoid hitting this plant. How's it going there, Sarah B? None, it's starting to get enjoyable. <laughs> She's having fun. You know, I remember running this last time. Just uh, lots of joys, ups and downs, highs and lows, just like the trail itself. Up the peaks, down in the valleys. Now we're climbing out of the valley. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Um, How you doing you? okay. Did Feeling get, good. Did you get your morning fix in? I feel like I did. <laughs> but I don't want to quite leave you yet, so we'll go a little further. Okay. Poison elk. Oh, poison elk. And look at this. Oh, Ooh. Blackberries. Here you go, my love. Oh, thank you. Hmm. There's nothing like wild blackberries. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I think I got my fix. Okay. Thank right. you so much for everything. Yeah, I'll see you soon. I'll see you in a bit. Take you to 65 miles. Bye, babe. Bye, babe. Yep, this is going to be an interesting journey. Reconnect with the, the trail. It's a little different experience than, than pure survival stuff. Uh, this time I'll be, I'll be on a trail. <clears throat> I need to be a very uh, minimum impact. It's, I can't build big shelters every day on the trail out here. It's not really the place for it, so I'm trying to adapt to traveling to the situation again. Oh, here we go. person I met coming back and I like his energy seems like a cool <laughs> dude and, and, and he started all the way down from Mexico right that's right yeah how's it been going for you it's been going really well it's uh it's I mean there's been parts that I knew were going to be beautiful like the Sierra and you know the San Jacinto range and then every other part has just like blown me away like it's exceeded my expectations pretty much at every turn yeah and the people have been awesome and it's it's just been a great experience
It was great to meet a hiker like Ohm on the trail, and it seems like a much more social experience than it did 21 years ago, but for now, I've got some miles to make before I can meet up with Sarah again. Well, I just left Matt. Um, well, probably I met left him about a half a mile, or maybe like two miles up the, the trail. It's a steep climb, and he's going out there with not a lot of stuff, so I have total faith in his skill set, but I can't help but worry a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. I guess for me, it's off to Ashland. Coming up on this ridge line up here. Big milestone for me. This is actually about the spot that I turned around last time I ran up north of Syed Valley. I didn't actually go to the very border of California. It was kind of a weird day for me that day. You know, I'd already run the length of California to Syed, which is the last town on the PCT in California in um, basically 58 days, which was uh, at that time I was unofficially the fastest it had been run, run self-supported. And I was in a weird mood. I just didn't feel like conquering that border. So I turned around shy of it. And uh, now I look at it, it's kind of silly. It didn't really mean anything either way, honestly. But um, but I'm here now and, and uh, moving past it. <sighs> One step at a time to Canada, here I come. After a long, steep, hot climb, it's always welcome to find a spring like this trickling fresh out of the rocks where you can sit down, relax in the shade, cool down and get hydrated. So right here I've got the chia seed mixture, it's soaking in, in the water bottle. And chia seeds are a member of the salvia family, they're basically, uh, it's like a type of mint. And it's actually the seed that you soak in here, and what it does, it swells up, makes this very mucilaginous mix. It's high in omega-3s, 9s, 6s, very balanced in carbs, fats, and proteins. So because of that, it makes a really amazing travel food. So I'll bring the lens over here so you can take a look at this. That's it right there. So it's soaking and what I'm going to do, sometimes if I have a little lime I'll squeeze that in there. This time I'm going to use an emergency packet. So this is kind of like a little bit of a survival kit thing. I'll drop that in there and that, the mixture of these two is actually really nice. See that gets a little sudsy there. Pop on the water bottle holder. Give that a really good shake. Mix that all up in there. And that is a super drink right there. Mm. Oh, very good. That's very refreshing. I'm up pretty high right now. Um, look around and I just noticed there's a little bit of snow in this, this little peak over here. Really a beautiful view. It was, it's kind of a slog getting up that hill, but I'm starting to feel like I'm back up on the crest right now and where I belong. Pretty awesome. Yeah, I wish uh, more people could experience something like this. Completely necessary for our culture to be out, be out with the land, and uh, you know sometimes push yourself a little bit. You know, in nature, it's it's a good thing. You know, and those those times when you push makes 
makes it feel so much more, more rewarding when Mother Nature just comes in, and wraps her arms around you, and gives you a big hug. Right now, Mother Nature's just giving me a little shoulder pat. Not much of a hug today, but uh, I know she's still there. Finally made it up over the crest, and now the nice thing about this part is got a little bit more downhill. Enjoy trying to open up the legs a little bit, relax. Covered, a, I covered about 20 miles today, and uh, it's just a little past midday. So hopefully I can get some more. I'm definitely starting to feel it a little bit. It's the first day on the trail, and my body's just getting adjusted to everything, moving this pack, this new setup, but uh, oh man, just phenomenal out here, absolutely amazing. It's getting kind of late in the day and I'll probably make camp, but just want to show you how beautiful this trail can be. Hey, so today was a pretty awesome day. Um, not gonna lie, it was a bit of a grueling climb coming out of uh, Syed Valley, about 4,400 feet. And uh, I'm a little bit tuckered today. First day on the trail. I think I, I did about 26, 27 miles today. Um, didn't wanna push it too much, but I'm actually feeling pretty pushed. Um, but I found a great spot right here. You look up, I got this overhead of uh, amazing, tree cover and uh, I didn't I chose not the typical campsite because I had a I don't have a sleeping pad so I'm kind of nestled down here in all this debris and this duff from the trees and I'm kind of on a hill slope but I have a natural little little depression here to sleep on so that's quite fitting since I'm traveling super light um, the sleeping bag I brought was 14 ounces and then I just brought maybe a little pound of seeds and Nuts, dried fruit, chia seeds, goji berries. Yeah, that's about it. The ultimate direction. Wild and tough edition pack of the hard rocker actually proved to be pretty good. And uh, no complaints there. The system of using my standard cloth roll up, putting a sleeping bag around my waist and then having this on top actually proved pretty well. And it was perfect because I was able to carry my camera stand, camera, and everything I needed to film this edition inside there. So, way to go for that, and uh, I had an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow.